Hey, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and use the new uh, Apple Watch Unlock feature for your iPhone, with, which came out today with iOS 14.5. So basically, if you're wearing a mask and because of your mask, Face ID doesn't work really well, despite that feature they included a few months ago uh, that allowed you to unlock it with the mask because it wasn't that accurate, so they kinda stopped using that. Um, this feature allows you to unlock your iPhone with your Apple Watch if your watch is near your iPhone, if it's on your wrist, if it's on your wrist, and if it's unlocked. Um, so I'm basically basically going to show you how to set it up and use it. So obviously, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and update your iPhone to iOS 14.5, as you see there. I've updated my 12 Pro Max to 14.5, so go we'll go ahead into software updates and update it. The second thing you have to do is go to your Apple Watch and you can either use your phone or directly from the Apple Watch. Update your Apple Watch to 7.4, so Apple Watch OS 7.4. So only Apple Watches that support Apple Watch 7.4 and only iPhones that support iOS 14.5 can use this feature. If either of those is missing, it's not gonna work. So your watch needs 7.4, your um, iPhone needs 14.5. If either of them is missing, <clears throat> it's not gonna work. So you need to have both at the same time. So uh, another thing that's required for this is your Apple Watch should have a passcode lock on it. Apple Watches that don't have passcode locks will not work. Your Apple Watch should be unlocked and it should be either on your wrist or unlocked on a table next to you. And it should be within a certain range. I think it's five feet or something, I'm not sure about that. But it should have a passcode. So if you don't have a passcode on your Apple Watch, this feature is not gonna work. So once you've done all that, you made all the requirements and stuff, you're gonna go into your iPhone's settings. Once you're in iPhone settings, you click face ID and passcode. So <clears throat> scroll down, face ID and passcode, hit that, type in your password, and once you're in your face ID and passcode settings, scroll down and then it'll say unlock with Apple Watch. Your connected Apple Watch will appear here. So mine's the Series 5, which has been connected and you click, it'll be uh, by default, it'll be not selected. So you select it, you hit the green. It'll take like 20 seconds to set up. And once it's set up, it's gonna work uh, immediately. You don't have to do anything else. That's the setup is pretty fast. So let me show you now. <clears throat> Okay, so first I'm gonna wear a mask. I'm just gonna use a simple um, surgical face mask. Uh, just to point out, it works with all colors and all sizes and stuff. It also works with those bigger respirators, the P100 respirators. It also works with standard N95 masks, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use a simple green surgical mask. <clears throat> Blue ones work, pink ones work, all the colors work. I have a lot of colored masks, so I tried them all. All the colors work, all the shapes work, all the sizes work, including the large P100 respirator. So you're good despite whatever you wear. Um, just to uh, just to get that out of the way. So just to show you that this face ID works on this phone, as you can see, I'm not wearing the mask now. Um, show you face ID works perfectly on this phone. Now let me go ahead and raise the mask. So I am wearing the uh, mask. Now I'm wearing this mask because uh, I, I can easily talk to you on camera because uh, if I wear a bigger mask, you won't be able to hear me. So anyway, now it's unlocked and it lets me know iPhone unlocked by this Apple Watch. As you can see, it's been unlocked. I can also lock it again. But once you lock it again with the Apple Watch, you have to put your passcode back in. Let me do that again. So it's locked again and unlocked iPhone unlocked by this Apple Watch. Again, I can lock it if I wish. Let's do that one more time. Put my passcode and then unlocked. iPhone unlocked by this Apple Watch. As you can see there, it works 100% of the time. You can lock it again. So yeah, it works 100% of the time. It works with all masks, respirators, whatever you're wearing. Let me get this off my face. <clears throat> so it works with whatever and it's 100% accurate. It's a great feature. I'm really happy because I hate fingerprint scanners and I don't like phones with uh, fingerprint scanners because when they get dirty, they don't always work. Face ID is always going to be superior. And I'm really happy that this new feature with your Apple Watch works alongside Face ID when you're wearing a mask. Uh, when you're in your sh shop or wherever you're wearing a mask. So that's great. It's a good feature by Apple. It's really refined. It works 100%. So the, the first update itself works well. So go ahead and update to 7.4 on your Apple Watch. 
and 14.5 on your iPhone. Uh, like again, I said, it's only only if you have both of those. You gotta have 14.5 on your iPhone. You gotta have 7.5 on your Apple Watch. Um, you can find the models that support. I think it's the Apple Watch 3 and above and the iPhone 7 and above, but I'm not sure. You have to double check that. But yeah, that was the setup and the use of the new uh, Apple uh, Apple Watch Unlock for iPhones with Face ID. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you out. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.